Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my very first unboxing of 2024. I am so, so excited. I grabbed this bag from Fashion File because they were having a sale at the end of 2023 and it was an extra 10% off on top of the sale price that was currently there. So I did pick up a handbag and it is Saint Laurent, spoiler alert, and I'm gonna unbox it in real time on camera and we're gonna just kind of unpack her, do a little mini first impression so I hope that you're as excited as I am. Before I get into the video, I do want to introduce myself in case you're new here. Welcome, my name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. I am so grateful for this platform where we can share our love and passion for handbags. So as always, thank you for your support. That being said, let's get into the video. So I have the box right here. This is the box that it came in. I'm gonna cut this open super quick. Okay, so I cut the box open. Again, this is from Fashion File. So on the top of the box, they sent a little nail file and on it, it says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet, which is very accurate. And then, oh wow, so it comes in the box. I have the box right here. And this is what this looks like. So I'm just gonna take the sticker off. And they always put these little like polka dot like things inside. So this is the box. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this flat and just open up the box. And it comes with a fashion file dust bag. Oh my goodness. So look at her. So what I picked up, oh, and it has the Saint Laurent dust bag as well. So I picked up the wallet on chain, and this is the Cassandra wallet on chain. They also have a Cassandre. This is one of the newer ones. This is in their nude shade, which honestly on the website looked a little bit pink. And this is just the most gorgeous, buttery, warm toned beige, but it also has like a little bit of like a gray to it. And I just love the gold hardware. I was really looking for something from YSL that was gonna be kind of like a nice crossbody style that would be really nice for me to take to like events, but also could be used on an everyday basis if I wanted to. So I am gonna do a what fits before I take the tags off, just to make sure that this is gonna like fit the bill of all of the things that I'd like it to do. Also, the reason why I wanted this particular wallet on chain is because the chain on here is 20 inches, which is actually really good for my height and frame. I'm five foot two, and I just didn't want it to be too long. So we're gonna go through all the ins and outs. So this is the back, and then this is a pre-loved piece. I'm not seeing a ton of wear on it, maybe just slightly on the corners, but it's barely noticeable. And then on the front, the hardware looks pretty good. This is the bottom, so it is quite thin because there's not much in there but there's really nowhere which I think is great so then to open this up you press down and this just pops open it's very similar to my Saint Laurent Jamie bag and then when I'm opening it I am immediately seeing some creasing going on which I don't know if I'm thrilled about so it's got the little chain hooks here and then it does look pretty spacious and it's got some card slots in the back there. So I'm really curious to see what fits in this. So we are gonna do that together. So it does look pretty spacious. However, it is quite thin. So I am a little worried to see like how much we're gonna be able to get in here, but we're gonna do it. So I've got my phone. This is the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm just gonna put this in here. For being honest, it feels like it's kind of a tight squeeze, but it's obviously in there. Okay, so as I'm packing the bag, I actually see some wear on here that I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there's some rubbing like across the front, which was definitely not disclosed in the listing, which I have to say I'm not super thrilled with. We're gonna keep stuffing this bag with the essentials just to really see if we're gonna keep her or not. I'm putting in my key fob now, and then I'm putting in my Louis Vuitton key pouch as my wallet. So we're gonna see how this 
all fits in here. Oh, this is not fitting so great. Let's be really real. Um, it feels very like cramped between those three things. So this is what it looks like with it getting a little bit bigger. I do think what I what I appreciate about it, the side is not like overflowing. When you do kind of a wallet on chain, the sides look a little bit weird, but this is actually like filling out nicely. So I do really appreciate that. I would say with those three things in there, like I don't even have a lip gloss or a hand sanitizer, which is what I would want for a night out and even on a daily basis. So I would say as far as capacity goes, I'm not thrilled. I'm also not over the moon about the condition of her, but we're gonna see if we can fit some more in here. So I'm gonna put in my travel size Advil. I'm just gonna lay it over the top. And then I do have a hand sanitizer here from Bath and Body Works. And I'm gonna see if it will close with those two things on top. And it does. So it does fit. It just feels very like tightly packed in there. Like, and it is a little bit heavier. I'm gonna try her on just to show you what this looks like styled on me. I'm five foot two for reference. So this is what she looks like styled on me as a crossbody. I think that it lays at a really nice length and it's perfectly just at my hip. I think if you were taller than me, this would still work for you, but maybe not like much taller than me. I think that the chain is a really nice length and I do appreciate like the height. And then if you wanted to remove the strap, you could just wear her as a clutch, which I think would be super cute. So here are my overall thoughts so far. First impression, I think the leather on her is really, really nice and it feels like it would be really, really durable. I'm immediately a little bit like torn because I think that the creasing on the back of the bag is going to be something that will bother me because like I see it now even without opening the bag but when I open the bag it really creases and like I have a coach bag that does that and to be totally honest it was half the price of this bag and that bag was brand new this one is pre-loved so it does have some flaws that I'm seeing as far as the wear and tear so I do see that mark there I see some signs of wear on the corners which is to be expected the corners is okay but like this was not disclosed I don't know if the camera's picking it up and then I would say the capacity is a little bit deceiving you would think that you'd be able to get a lot more in here I mean granted this is a lot right so I've got my phone my key pouch my Advil my hand sanitizer but like it feels like there's not a lot of room to play and I guess what I had hoped was that this would be like kind of something that I could wear on a daily basis if I wanted to be like a little bit more glam. I love the chain. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I think the length again is super nice. I really like the way the bag opens and closes as well. And then what is really nice is it has this like leather piece in between the S, like which I think is a nice touch. Like all the details are really nice, just like the way that this bag was made. I'm interested to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Would you keep this bag? I feel like I'm not over the moon about it, which is disappointing, but like it's a new year, 2024, we're not keeping anything that we're not super in love with, and I think that I'm just not super in love, just based on like everything that I just said. I almost feel like I could find something that has the things that I mentioned, of it being spacious, can be dressy, a nude beautiful bag, that... I could wear out to dinner and wear every day if I wanted to with like a glam chain for probably less money and quite honestly in better condition. Usually Fashion File is really good about like mentioning the wear on their pieces. I think that this was listed in very good condition and I mean it is but it isn't. But there are some things on here that just like were not noted and I did not see in the photo so I think that that's a little bit disappointing and kind of leading me into wanting to return it a little bit more. I like the way that it looks when it's stuffed. I don't so much like when there's nothing in it. So I'm gonna kind of think about it for a day or two and decide if I'm gonna keep her or not. 
I'm excited to take you along on this journey with me and I'm interested to hear from you if you think that I should keep this or not and what your thoughts are and if you own one of these bags specifically how are you liking it like I would love to hear from you if I do decide to keep her I will probably test out getting this like rub out it's not super noticeable but like when you look at it up close you can really see that it almost looks like color transfer like it looks like it rubbed up against something black and like that came up on the leather the leather is is truly beautiful. I think the pebbled leather you can really see is stunning. The more that I'm looking at it, the more that I like it, but, but I think the functionality from what I'm seeing doesn't seem super practical, and that's just not for me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm so interested to hear from you. Please leave your comments down below. And if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer those for you about this handbag or my shopping experience with Fashion File. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe for more handbag reviews and unboxings. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.